Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. It is Tuesday, February 6th, 2024, at around 12.32 p.m. here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're expecting all of the rain that has been moving through California to begin moving through Arizona. And I see it here, and we're going to look at the atmospheric situation here on Earth and the very active situation happening on the surface of the sun. Since I've talked to you last, there's been more solar flares and a coronal mass ejection that is actually a halo ejection, which is a little more rare. We're going to get into that in just a moment. Before I do proceed with my own work here, I have to give a shout out to an angel in my own life, Alexia, and her rumble channel ricky leaks her social media accounts on meta basically have been removed and this woman has been collaborating with me to make the harry potter and hogwarts videos we have our next one coming up very soon and it is my great honor to be able to share her rumble channel with you and her content about clearing and cleansing the body. So she gave me the confidence, me and Jace the confidence to clear and cleanse our bodies in new and effective ways with her help and guidance. And I am forever grateful for that. So please go and support her channel if you haven't yet. And let's see what other beautiful medicines she's going to be creating because this I know is a very inspiring thing also when a creator gets something like this to happen to them. It inspires them to push and try new things. And I've seen this happen to a few friends, but I'm actively working with Alexia right now and you guys are probably most familiar with her. My face is right here, so please go help her out. And let's move on with today's report. So I had put you here to quickly show you the brain waves. So we're going to look at the brain waves. This is the new activity we're all going to enjoy. Overlapping these two little charts. It's slightly off here, but it's decently close. And I know it's a little hard to read as well, but I have to be able to see through the layers here and uh, inform you about the brainwave areas that may have been getting more activity in you and in your families the last day and a half, basically. And we're seeing some bizarre activity here that is more subtle. And you can see these little horizontal moments here. Those are happening in the beta brainwave areas, as well as up in the delta and theta brainwave areas, if you can see clearly behind these little dashes I'm talking about. So those are a little bizarre and a part of the anomalies in this study for sure. So add that to the anomalies list. There's also some anomalies going on in the next most recent anomaly section here, here in the gamma brainwave section again as well, and more in the alpha over here as well. More activity through all of the brain waves over here in a sense, and here a little more organically you can see there's activity in most of the brain waves, even down here in the gamma again with these horizontals. So fascinating to watch. It's easier to do it in real time. So please go ahead and download this Schumann Resonances app. I know I've messaged the developer. My resources are actually in the app as well for more resources for people. And the information on there, some of it may not be labeled in the most cohesive way, but at least you get to see the charts and you can also follow Schumann bot on Twitter. They'll post it every hour to get this data. You can also use the raw source here. The website is literally plastered on top of the source so no one can get lost again. No one's privatizing this. So let's move on to the sun. As we're seeing all this odd behavior, like I mentioned, the sun gave off some some newsworthy explosions. So here we are on the third. There goes the sun diving object. Sun diving object into the fourth. Now we're going to watch if anything reacts into the fifth. So a CME downward and the larger two explosions there. So we had a 4.27 M, 4.27 solar flare out this way 
then we had another explosion that caused this halo and then we had some filaments go out the very top and it looks like we've had a few more towards earth even since so yeah the last thing was the halo so the most recent thing was the halo that all makes sense so i'm going to explain that in more depth sorry i'm just kind of thinking and talking at the same time sometimes excuse me so we're looking at chile we're looking at the sunspots coming over the limb that are flashing us but we had lots of solar flares roll in the volcanoes in the philippines started going off the californians experienced some flood waters and then we got more activity coming out of this sunspot. The sunspot around 16 hours ago from this video became very active on the 6th or you can see two, like 2.30 UTC on the 6th of February was when things started to become more active on the solar surface and it kicked it up a notch and continued pretty much until right now the solar flare activity. So if you notice a kind of a shift in your momentum the last 16 hours, perhaps it was this solar flare. I watched some things go down uh, on the globe. So I watched somebody get, there was a global announcement for one of the monarchs getting cancer. And then somebody, one of the celebrities I follow uh, passed away from cancer in this window of time that this solar flare has kind of been affecting us. Oh no, don't make me lose my spot. We're getting to it. It jumped me ahead, it was so excited. So this flare began and then it began intensifying basically in radiation. So the, the flare radiation levels just kind of went going, were going up and up and up. And we had this very large wave of extra radiation in the last 24 hours. It went over a decent amount of time. I would say it looks like at least an hour of time passed where we were in that M class radiation window, the two hour window basically of this M class radiation. I was live streaming for a little portion of this, I think, or very nearby this wave yesterday, and I did a four-hour stream sharing the light codes relevant, and it was announced during that stream that this monarch had been diagnosed with cancer, and we were discussing radiation and the effects of solar radiation potentially causing higher risks for bad mutations in an unhealthy body. And these solar flare moments make us reminded because these really are the kickers. These really do birth and kill the, the beings on earth. It's uncanny. And I believe there is the literature for that. So please, of course, go please study the literature for solar flares. There's decades, centuries even of this information. Truly, it's not anything spectacular I'm doing. I just love it. And I love watching it every day. And I'm watching the solar wind go up pretty fast. So we should even see some aurora tonight because out of everything, I've been seeing the evidence. Like it's not even showing up on here. I don't know what's going on. I'm seeing some evidence the solar wind starting to get fast and some evidence that it's not. So the solar wind evidence getting blurry, remember I talk about this, is a sign that we should definitely be keeping our eyes open and probably looking for the northern lights. This impact from all of this stuff that came off the sun is expected to be rolling through earth the next three days. So once you see it, you know we're going to be amongst it for three days, really. It's like a hug that's slowly traveling towards us from the sun. And this isn't even updated all the way. There's been developments since this article has been written just today, which I'm glad that I waited so I could show you. So after the sunspot that's going over and turning away from Earth erupted and hit a maximum of like an M4 solar flare radiation level, we began getting more alerts that were 
I don't recognize and from the space where they live app about radio emissions and I started seeing the fallout of the weather in multiple places Nova Scotia and eastern Canada got a lot of snow they're pretty used to it though they have pretty good spirits about it that's normal for them but they still you know it still happened there's like look at this child scaling this pile of snow the wind pushes it around and builds it up in certain spots but it's still it's still substantial there's this pod of orcas that are stuck in the ice flow around japan apparently because it's all it's too thick and it's starting to freeze together and they all need to be breathing so they're just bobbing around in this one little hole and they put it on the news instead of i don't know dropping something heavy next to them to like break up the ice I don't know, they have hell. I'm sure that could have probably helped. You know, they were like, well, just film it. And there you go. So that was posted 15 hours ago. So hopefully they've gotten some help, that little orca pod. As then also all these people near Los Angeles are dealing with some landslide kind of issues. But there's major landslides happening in Indonesia as well from their weather and they had some scary landslides and water flooding as well so not just California here's that solar flare that kind of tore things open yesterday and let things unleash yesterday (laughs) and we're in the fallout of but not just this like I said there's more I've retweeted some news about former New York housing authority workers for some reason that was giving me some synchronicities I'm seeing reports that solar cycle 26 is now being predicted just because people with heliophysicist backgrounds know how the solar cycles develop and become present on the surface with the polarities of the matter basically moving around in the sun and they have the equipment and they can watch the movements and I'm still getting used to learning that knowledge this is my first solar cycle where I'm fully online and activated and participating and I don't have a background in heliophysicist land I have a background in psychology so I can read I can read scientific papers but physics isn't exactly a strength of psychologists so that's one thing where I have to squint my eyes and try really hard sometimes but usually I get the downloads to help out too and the important part is they can see 20 solar cycle 26 coming potentially already and what's going to happen then I don't know but we've got some time before then as we're dealing with what's erupting now out of the sun with this halo projection here that just happened and this protrusion here over this this particular vision makes this surface look like it's higher and more protruded than the rest of the sun even with this little bowing here i can't tell if that's the photography or that's perhaps something we don't know about the sun but it got photographed there a little bit of a shape shift going on this article is about orbital resonance and that some planets can move in the same harmonic together and have this rhythmic beat as a team around a star which i thought was super cute here is the person or the superstar that passed away today in the news that I was getting. I, one of his songs was playing in my head for the last like month. I couldn't figure out why. I was surprised I remembered the song, but perhaps that's why. So we're going to look into that more. I'm sure if there's any developments, there's been a bank robbery over by the White House. LIDAR is coming out in more public fashion. This storm over California is now going to be moving into Arizona and Nevada, which it already has. And the amount of water that's coming through is much more than the last little while. So we're getting some water. We're getting some shifts going on in an area that I would say is being shaken up on many, many layers. And there's a lot of people, important people, meeting in San Francisco today. And I have just learned about that. I cannot, I barely can keep up. And that's on purpose. You know, you got to, this is a skill to keep track of all this stuff. And they've built computers to be able to do that. But I'm just going to do it my human way. 
the year, there's been some money moving around as well from the U.S. to Israel. I'm getting callbacks about Iran and there is more eruptions going on in Iceland. There's still lava flowing around, which in case you didn't know, that's what's going on. We thought the volcano in Hawaii was going to erupt and it seems to have subsided a little bit of that intensity and if this solar flare and this activity that halo ejection we literally just have had where there's almost no reports yet because it's fresh fresh and the footage is fresh fresh but it didn't go earth facing i can see that it's already loaded over here and it's moving away almost directly the opposite side of earth so it was more of a back side of the sun situation that we are watching and the previous solar flare the m4 that we were in yesterday for hours it's not even here anymore but that would have gone more towards it would have gone more towards venus and mercury than earth as well the coronal holes are receding they're not a big issue the sunspots are still bursting and birthing watching out for anything over the limbs especially through 3575 was the one that blasted us yesterday and 3576 is also a large concern because it's quite busy but 3571 as well because it's earth facing 3570 as well and so on all of these guys we're watching them all but it seems like earth facing section and things on the limb tend to get the most active at least for now if i'm watching the patterns correctly which i hope i am but I'm, gonna, I'm committed to years of the study to be sure to watch those patterns properly. The global consciousness knot has been decently green today. Yesterday when I was attempting to do any sort of work in this section, we were going right into the red. And I was preparing for my live stream yesterday and we were in the red. So today, not so bad. Things have cooled off. The pressure from the fourth, I think, has now dissipated. But the fourth is when I was messaging everyone on patreon letting them know that i was concerned about earth and our place as peaceful people basically i was praying like hey can we put us on a better timeline please i'm feeling some pressure and since then the pressure has definitely moved itself into maybe a more cohesive state which we can see here with the green the markets are moving and there's drama afoot the the Lunar New Year, the Chinese New Year, the markets, people spending money, the psychology of when people spend, the springtime is all coming. And so markets are going to be flooded with more liquidity and things are going to be trading around. So the markets are about to pick up in activity. So if you want to get things, buy things while they're at low price, things are at low price right now. A, a, compared to what they spiked to be last year, which is around 80 cents, at least for XRP. Now it's down at 50. If you buy it when it's cheaper, you can make money when it gets to be more expensive. For example, this is the, the discussion, but there's far more complicated things coming through and technologies to jump on top of all this tech. And so this one in particular, Solana is doing terribly because it's crashing. And Jace just did a video about this today on his YouTube channel, Cosmic Origins. Please go follow him. He is the expert and the passion behind the cryptocurrency market watch and participation or steering it in the direction of benefit for humanity, if you know what I mean. Some of us will tackle a certain field and we will be steering that steering wheel towards the good and I chose space weather. I'm seeing activity as well in Italy. It's much more subtle lately. Italy has been showing more subtle readings than Russia, slightly subtle, not too much more. It's, it's deceiving because of the scaling here. So if you're good at reading charts, I don't need to explain this to you. You already passed those exams and got your degrees and so on in whatever scientific field and you know how to eyeball charts pretty good and they have the information here on the italian charts it's much better labeled than the russian charts so please go ahead and enjoy that resource you'll know what i mean you'll see what part of the extremely low spectrum that they are able to see heart math is another one of these resources they're having a hard time uploading anything 
South Africa is popping off though majorly and I don't know what happened it's like the station just somebody realized that they they got back from their vacation turned the station back on and it's outperforming all the other stations around the world for sure so South Africa is being radiated a lot the Schumann resonance frequency may sing and ring very loudly in South Africa maybe even more than um, most places in the world and there's ancient structures there like the Adam's calendar and so on that are historical and something you may want to look into for the origins of earth and the drama down there but there's also some earthquakes going on recently in South Africa so it hurt us talking about it there is some energy that needs some attention South Africa shout out to everyone who follows me from South Africa and let's look at all the other potential spots where earthquakes are gathering this Idaho <clears throat> this Idaho location doesn't make sense to me so Clayton Idaho very interesting and it's multiple on top of each other that's the most anomalous one that I'm seeing so far and this one over here Djibouti I actually don't even didn't know that was a different country look at that right off of the tip what an interesting spot very interesting territory to make its own laws and names I always there's lots of these countries that form in these junction points <laughs> on earth if you haven't noticed that yet you'll notice <laughs> You'll notice those junction points have their own little country all of a sudden, and it doesn't quite make sense how that happened. I'm not a geography buff, but I've had to laugh many times just from my ignorance how obvious some things look. This one's also a suspicious earthquake. Why are they saying this is... Okay, here we go. The Rake Jane's Ridge. Okay. Never heard of that name either, so that's cool. Rick Jane's Ridge. Some stuff in Romania. Shout out to Romania. Interesting. So yeah, there's a few new spots getting tickled with the earthquakes that literally geographically I didn't know the names of. So that's a sign to me that some new, new energies are afoot. And I'm sure you felt them. You felt the pressure on the 4th and the 5th. And today we were observing... I would say again the fallout of, of all of that and the announcements and the the updates are coming look at all of this lightning that's grounding off of the edge of i would say maybe puerto rico and into the ocean off of the edge of florida this whole area is getting activated with a bunch of lightning similar kind of activity in the northern areas of australia and over by indonesia lots of lightning we want to watch where the lightning is grounding. The weather forecast across America is decently busy. And there's this storm of brewing off in Bermuda. But there's this storm that's been brewing off of the West Coast. Hmm. <laughs> that we've been dealing with since last night. So they received all this water and now it's moving forward into Arizona, Nevada, and Utah. And then it kind of switches shapes on the 7th. So I think after the 7th, the pressure's gonna come off from whatever that is, you know, it's gonna fly off, so we're good. The 7th, the relief from that. Here's more evidence of the solar wind impacting Earth right now and it being a little bit more pressure. So if you're getting more head pressure, I would believe you. Let's do the Mayan calendar. It is the red overtone moon today. I empower in order to purify, commanding flow. I seal the process of universal water with the overtone tone of radiance. I am guided by the power of navigation. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. So we're entering today as a galactic activation portal. Makes sense why I feel a little bit of relief. Seems like the galactic energy has kind of helped body these changes a little bit. February 6th, 
we are moving into a new moon phase on the 9th and then we're getting the Super Bowl on the 11th sorry we're getting the the new year lunar new year is coming it's Friday Saturday and then we're getting the Super Bowl on Sunday the 11th and then there's a whole bunch of stuff going down on the 14th in Aries so Capricorn into Aquarius new moon year with Aquarius energy that's good then we're going to go into Pisces energy for <laughs> the Super Bowl which is interesting lots of weird magic going on and Aries energy for Valentine's Day or the 14th so heads up on that thank you for the subscribers I appreciate it please check out my, the rest of my channel for the last live stream that I've done and the upcoming live stream on the 18th please see my link tree for all of my resources space weather related as well I have a store with merchandise here at the top my Instagram is a great source for contacting me please go to ascensiondiaries.com put in your email for the emergency mailing list if you are not interested in becoming a patreon member if you are interested now's your time we've got things to do please join my patreon thank you so much and for the fi final notes here the year of the wood dragon the wood dragon is more of an introverted dragon is what i'm hearing not the golden dragon we want the wood dragon he's up here where is he he's got his little here he is this is his attitude he's not even going to speak and he's going to coldly walk right past us so that's interesting <laughs> so it might not be as outgoing as maybe some people are predicting in this dragon energy because of the element it's in i was talking about the ba the ka and the ak body you can pause the video and read those or look it up yourself. I think those are very important. And the final note for today and our video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing as usual. All the love and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.